people. I hope all is well. And I really do hope that everybody's trying to stay safe and of sound mind. Because things have been happening in quick succession and it's making you wonder, you know? It, it gives you pause. It is almost as if things are falling on top of each other. My people, please be careful. Breathe. Now, just let's just talk about a few things. Now, the Brittany Griner situation, it's unfortunate. We have to admit that. However, I do believe that she's collateral damage. Putin is political flexing. And we understand that. And I don't think that she's going to spend the entire nine and a half years. I think he's just, he's making a point. Because people's sovereignty and their sovereign laws are their sovereign laws. Remember, you have borders, you have your laws, and you can enact them at any point. And especially in this volatile um, condition, circle, under these volatile circumstances, everybody's up against Putin for invading you know and doing what he had to do because he thinks that his sovereignty was threatened he is going to flex and it's sad that she had to end up in this position and he is also going to flex on the most revered superpower and his arch nemesis so there's been calls for biden to do more i don't know how much more he can do <laughs> because putin has been waiting for this opportunity i am sure for a long time licking on his fingers and he is just not going to give up the chance to see Biden sweat. Her being a black woman is kind of inconsequential at this point. It may play, may have played a, a little role, but I think it's mildly significant. It was just the wrong place, the wrong time, and she miscalculated the risk. So unfortunately, these are the results of and I want to believe that we can say with some conviction that she's now a political prisoner. And to think that Trump, if he were president, he would have done something different to make the situation better. No, we know how Trump feels about these things. I think he had a brother or someone who had showed some inclination in that direction. And Trump does not think kindly of those things. So that's from that. So that would have been a no-go for him. Anyway, now, on to this topic, monkeypox. Now, people, listen to me. Monkeypox is about to hit the U.S. and hit it hard. In my mind, listen, this 21st century is the worst moment in our lives as human beings. Things have been happening and you're not even getting a chance to recuperate properly, sufficiently from one catastrophe to the next. COVID came, COVID is still here. There was so much skepticism about COVID. An epidemic turned into a pandemic fairly quickly. And it was a real public health um emergency and it has become a public health emergency just like monkeypox because the u.s has announced that monkeypox is now a public health emergency which will impact the economy negatively again i see they've been putting out statistics to you know um, say well things have been on the up and up and have been improving well, here comes monkeypox to knock it right off its soapbox. And with the transcontinental free movement of people, we will all be affected in one way or the other. So brace yourselves. Now, what a segue. My final story. We're on to Mr. and Mrs. Neo. <laughs> I mean, this, is, this story is evolving by the minute. Crystal Smith has filed for divorce from Neo. Now there's accusations of a child but my question is is it only a child something does not seem right something seems really 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 off that i don't believe it's just another baby and sadly i don't even know if i should say sadly because if you do something intentionally you are aware of consequences wasn't crystal the interloper between um neo and ladies they do it with you 
they shall do it to you. And these people always tell on themselves in their music because I do believe that there's, I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, there's a song, uh, the, the latest album that he made or some song or something that he spoke about in his lyrics. He's telling her to leave him because he doesn't think that she, that he could be the man that she wants. Listen to these people's lyrics, listen to their music. Sometimes it is so internalized and that is, the, that is how a creative expresses themselves. You have, you internalize your thoughts and then you put it out in your creations. That is it. You want to know how someone thinks? Check their art. Examine their art. And this is his art. It, they tell them themselves all the time through their lyrics. Look, listen, these men are equal opportunity obnoxious breeders. They subtract rather than add to society. And Crystal, you were his main choice. But ma'am, you got the same impact of dust. And at this point, these women are no longer their preferences. They prefer to choose them, to victimize them. This is why it is so funny when these women believe to be themselves to be better. You know, I'm better than the one before. No, you were chosen by some sadistic, masochistic men who lack the capacity to self-correct. It is like they're all on a mission to proof to their air quotes oppressors because their oppressors are in their minds they are their own oppressors and to the protectors of these chosen women because the men of no color are those women's protectors it is only in the black community we don't really have protection from our men but those women do but tell me how can you reason logically with a delusional group of men there's absolutely no possibility Anyway, now there is this situation where they're talking about a child. So here we have Crystal. And now we have Psychic. Do you see any similarities? Okay. He had to do it. He had to go there. And I had to go. I took it there. <laughs> they all stay true to form. They never disappoint. They're like the gravel in the streets. They're everywhere. At this point, there is no way that the transparents are not aware that they're getting the same pain. They all clearly exhibit sociopathic tendencies and they have a history. People have gone before you, women, ladies, check out, see what has happened before you came. But they choose to ignore these things because it does not suit their purpose or fit their purpose in the moment. And then uh, things don't go their way. They complain. Everybody's all hot under the collar. There are consequences for choices you make. And that's just how life is. Anyway, I'm done with this. And as usual, it's always good being here. It's a good time over here. And if you're not too busy, and I know you're so kind, let's continue the conversation down in the comments. And please like my video, like and share. And as always, stay safe and be self-aware.